What's going on everybody? Today we're going to learn how to configure the new tri-mode board from X Gaming. Now this is a new board that you can retrofit into your existing X Arcade joysticks and it is also the standard board that will be shipping with any new X Arcade orders. And the two main advantages of these boards are that number one, you no longer need that older style PS2 keyboard to configure it. You can now do it through a USB keyboard. And number two, it supports direct input and X input. So newer games like Street Fighter V that don't have very good keyboard support built in are not going to be playable using your X Arcade joystick by utilizing that new X input mode. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is go over to the link that I have provided in the description and you, you're going to go ahead and download the new programming software. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. You want to scroll to the bottom and you want to click on this link right here, download the X Arcade programming software. Now you can put that wherever you want. If you have one of my systems, it will be on the desktop already. So we're going to go ahead and open that program and you want to click on run. So next you want to go ahead and make sure that when you plug in the X Arcade into your computer, you plug in only the USB connection. If you have a tank stick, there will be two USB connections. For the other joysticks, there will only be one. So again, plug in only the USB connection. Do not plug in both the USB and the colored round connectors at the same time. So after you plug it in, the red LED on the top right corner will turn on and that lets you know that everything is good so far. Now, if you look at the software, you're going to see that it says X Arcade not detected. And that is because we haven't put it into programming mode yet. So if we take a look at the back of the tank stick right here, you can see that there is a switch here that has four positions, four modes. And over here, there's a, there's a button that is for programming. So what you want to do is you want to set this switch to mode number two. So if you're looking at it from the back, it's the one click to the right. What the other modes do is number one is the standard MAME configuration. So that doesn't get changed. That's kind of baked into the board. Number three is direct input and number four is X input. So those are those new modes we talked about earlier. So if you were playing a game like let's say Street Fighter V, you would put it over to mode number four and then the PC and the game would basically think that the joystick is two Xbox controllers. All right, but for this tutorial, we want to put it on number two. And the other thing you want to do is you want to press that programming button on the back. And at that point, the LED on the top right corner is going to turn off and the software is going to see the controller and recognize it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to put it on mode two. And I'm going to press that button on the back. My LED is off and just give it a second here and it's going to go ahead and recognize the controller. And there we go, XRK connected, begin programming. So we're almost done here at this point. All we wanna do is hold down a key on the keyboard and then hold down a button on the XRK joystick that you want to assign that letter to. So in my case, for my configuration, my buttons are A, B, C, D, E, F for player one, right? So I'm gonna hold down button A, or I should say key A on the keyboard, and the first button on my joystick. So starting with the top row, I'm gonna hold that button down, and you're gonna see that red circle there turns green. And if you look at the LED on the top right corner, it's going to flash. So at that point, that button is programmed, and you can move on to the next one. So for the next one, I'm going to hold down the B, the letter B on the keyboard and that second button for player one. There you go. That circle turned green and that one is good to go. I'm going to do the next one, letter C, and that one is good. Then D, good, E, good, F, good. Now, basically, you just do this with all of the buttons, your joysticks and that is as simple as it gets. When you're done with all of the buttons, if you want to check that they're programmed correctly, all you have to do is press that programming button again to turn the LED back on, which I just did. And if you open up a program like Notepad, 
you can press those buttons and they should correspond to what we just programmed them to. So that first button should be A, which it is, then B, C, D, E, and F. And there you go. It's basically a keyboard, so you can think of your joystick as a keyboard. Um, the, the buttons are just sending through the letters that you programmed. So that's why you get A, B, C, D, E, F when you're done. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one.